star for this year's All-Stars. You're watching Focus on South Florida. Welcome back. The Boys and Girls Clubs of Miami-Dade has been supporting youth in our community since 1940. It now serves 10,000 local boys and girls year-round. Its mission is to inspire and enable young people to reach their full potential as productive, caring, and responsible citizens. One of the ways they accomplish that is through events like the upcoming Celebrity Bowling Challenge. And joining me to talk about that now and the impact BGC has on our community is Alex rodriguez Roig. Alex is the president of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Miami-Dade. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about the bowling event, first of all, because that's the exciting news coming oh, up Oh, that's here. always a lot of fun. It's uh, it's basically, it's a John Jay celebrity bowling event. John Jay, who was one of these kids that came to the club at one point, and uh, John Jay's been playing Major League Baseball now for, for a few years, and one of the ways that he believes in giving back is supporting the organization that helped him when he was a child. So this event he puts on, on and uh, he brings all these celebrities, and, and it's a great bowling uh, event that people go out and, have, and bowl with celebrities and you have drinks and, and orders and just have a good time Miami style. And t let's back up and talk about the fact that he was an active member of the Boys and Girls Club and that that shaped his life and changed him. You see a lot of those success stories, I'm sure. We do. You know, the club is basically about giving opportunities to kids, whether it's in sports and academics and in, in any kind of field. It's trying to get what's, what's really good out of them and, and give them that opportunity to enhance that. And in his case, he was a very good baseball player, uh, obviously, and he's yeah. been uh, very successful, but he's one of those that never forgot where he came from and he still does and he does a lot of things with us and a lot of different organizations but he always comes back home he doesn't play in Miami he doesn't even play close he's going to be in San Diego it's really on the other side of the country but he's still this is still home for him and uh, what are some of the services the the clubs offer because you know it's some parents might think you know it's too far I don't have mm -hmm. transportation I need to focus on getting mm -hmm. my kids a lunch that day but all of those things are offered at the boys and girls clubs. Uh, absolutely that's a good, that's a very good question we have five different locations in town uh, that we serve kids out of um, and some of the programs that we offer are one of our main programs is obviously in the afternoon we have the after school educational program we have homework assistance computer arts social skills literacy dance uh, there's a, so many different programs and, and and the best comparison I can make to that is when you go to an ice cream shop you might like strawberry I like chocolate mm -hmm. the more flavors there are the more likely there's gonna be something that's gonna intrigue you and interest you and and make you do better uh, and really keep you focused and that's what the club is all about about finding those opportunities for these kids and what are some of the needs you're seeing now well you know some of the needs are, are amazing you see from especially a lot of parents you have when sometimes half the home households we have are about single parents so the other half that are even two parents everybody's working uh, so when these kids are out of school at two o'clock or three o'clock where do they go best case scenario they go to their house uh, and do nothing. That's the best case scenario. Worst case scenario is, well, you see it on 6 o'clock news, right? Um, things that happen to these kids. So the really best alternative is to be in an organization like ours where they're getting all these different types of programming. They're bringing them in. It's not just having them there in a safe environment. It's about them growing and giving them opportunities. A lot of the kids don't have access to computers, or if they do, it's very limited at school. Um, here they have computers where they can explore stuff. There's all these different other programs. One of our really popular programs right now is actually our teen program. We have a specific program that's just for teens they have their own space they have their own area in fact they decorated their own areas in the different clubs they painted it so they made it their own and they do their special things these some of them are service projects where they go out into the community and feed the homeless or do different types of things and that's what it's about getting these kids giving them something to believe in and something to uh, to keep moving forward on and it's the beginning of the new year what are your goals for 2016 oh wow that's a, that's a great question <laughs> uh, the goals are amazing we, we are actually in a, in, a, in a phase where we're gonna look at expanding the clubs we've been around for 70 years we've been serving in five different communities a couple of those communities the clubs have been there for a very long time one of them was the one that started in the 40s um, so uh, we're looking at hopefully at some point rebuilding new clubs having some new clubs so that we can have a really great space for the kids our beach club um, it's on South Beach is just about to open in the next month or so so uh, we're very excited about that one because we've been there for about 20 years but it was a small building and now we're into a two-story building and there's such a need on South Beach believe it or not everybody thinks of the party stuff but there's a lot of kids in there that need service all right and uh, briefly tell us how people can get involved in the bowling event and uh, the organization as a whole absolutely um, the easiest way is uh, to go to our website bgcmia.org or they can call us at, uh, at the main number 305-446-99 uh, the bowling event is just another great av avenue to, uh, to help raise funds for the kids. It's going to be a lot of fun, though. And to get to know the organization itself. To get right? the, yes, absolutely. And a lot of celebrities there. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate Thanks. it. And good luck with the bowling event. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, up next, we'll